Now from the night team, a doomsday vault on the moon. It sounds like an out of this world idea, but researchers at the University of Arizona want to make it happen. They basically want to put a backup of the Earth in outer space. Tonight we're learning the mechanics of how that would actually happen. Team 12's Colleen Sakura joins us with the people behind the insurance policy for Earth. It could be a firestorm. It could be a tsunami. What if? It could be, uh, you know, secondary volcanic activity that happens. The worst hits Earth, wiping out some or a lot of the living things here. Can we get that back? In, in our current scheme of things, no way. Which is why Jahan Thanga and his team at the University of Arizona thinks this, a lunar arc put inside ancient lava tubes on the moon, could be the answer. We could help save uh, Earth's bio diversity. Inside the ark, they'd put samples of a lot of stuff on Earth. DNA, eggs, sperm, spores, seeds from about 6.7 million species. Storing it in really cold temperatures, the ark would be kept safe from solar radiation and temperature changes because they'd be inside the lava tubes on the moon. By doing that, you know, we wouldn't, we wouldn't lose this precious diversity. The idea is to start by replicating what the Svalbard Global Seed Vault in Norway has, which has about a million seeds on file, and take those in 10 or so rocket launches to the moon. To get samples of all 6.7 million species would mean about 250 rocket launches. It's not impossible, uh, but but in, in current prices, it's it's definitely going to be a you know quite a quite a big price tag. Designing the ark so they can expand as needed. As we need more rooms, or as we come up with ideas for things we want to store, we can just add them on with ease. Hoping they'll be ready should the what if. Let's make it better. Let's develop it farther. Come our way. So how close to reality is this? Well, the researchers say it's about 30 years off, but hope to improve their design during that time and hope travel to space becomes cheaper too. Colleen Sakura, 12 News.